About a year ago, I did this video to share how I'm actually deriving 3,800 per month in passive income. So if you check that video, you realize there are a lot of positive comments. I actually shared very openly how I've actually built step by step to reach that amount. And today, 2021, I'm looking to actually increase that amount to possibly close to $5,000. It's still quite a stretch, but I think there are some things rolling in place. Let me share with you what exactly has transpired you know, in this one year. Just to share with you a bit better, a bulk of this passive income that I derive still comes from rent. I'm still renting out my HDB flat. It's to very good tenants, I'm very thankful for them. So let me share with you, HDB flat $2,000, that's something that I'm deriving right now. And the HDB flat is fully paid. In this community, I've also heard quite a few questions. Can we actually rent out HDB where we stay in a condominium? Yes, the answer is yes. I don't know why that confusion has came out so many times. You do need to buy the HDB first because you can't buy HDB when you own a condo. So that's, the, that's probably where the main confusion comes in. But as of the rules, right, do check also. Uh, you just need to fulfill the minimum occupancy period. You just need to file with HDB. Or if you're unsure, really work with a real estate agent. I'm sure you can get the right advice for it. And the good part about renting HDB, which I think is understated in, you know, when you search for information, is that there are many tiers of expats. And what we see now is middle management expats those that are not you know, in the C-level kind of a tier, they actually stay in HDBs and that segment has been very stable. If you are renting out a high-end condo, 5,000, 10,000 per month rent, you'll see that that tenant base seems to have evaporated a bit because some of them are working overseas, they're not coming to Singapore anymore. We will see a lot of outflows from the higher level of expats. So in terms of renting out HDB, I'm, I'm very thankful that it's been very stable with the pandemic or not. And also a difference between renting HDB and renting condo is also one thing. Maintenance charges, HDB is very little. Condo, there's always conservancy, sinking costs, etc. etc. Second thing, HDB rent is hassle-free. You know, if the lift is spoiled, you just call town council. If you know the rubbish is dirty, the neighbor is not very nice, you can always you know, find HDB for resolution. Whereas in a private property, you need to settle it yourself. So even for my own condo right now, we have to decide and discuss uh, within the whole, all the members, uh, all the residents staying over here, what we should do with the lift because it's up for repair. So there's a lot of differences. I always think renting out HDB is very simple. Something that if you are young working out, really just buy a first house as HDB. Follow the journey I've done. I think it's a very simple uh, blueprint on how you can actually build your own wealth. So with that, let's move on to a second point which I'd like to share and give some updates on also. And that actually comes from passive income from my financial assets. Now, I've actually shared previously uh, that my stock portfolio is about $266,000, but right now it's swelled up to about $309,000. As you realize, I've tried to remove away the names of where it's allocated. I always believe in you know, uh, sharing with you the journey more than what is a hot buy or what is a hot sell, because ultimately that is advice really, and ultimately you should decide on, on yourself what you want to invest in. And right now the portfolio has increased to $309,000, I guess in part, largely due to stock market increment from September all the way to now. Uh, not too much net purchases. I've actually used SRS to purchase if I found something that I like. But as of right now, if you use $9,000 portfolio value and give a 3% dividend rate, what do you realize per month? It's actually about $770 passive income from dividends. If you own all your stocks in Singapore, in a CDP account, you realize that the checks actually go directly to your bank account. Something that looks like this. You realize I collected from three companies that I actually own, and per month wise, you know, there's something coming in on an average basis. I think 770, it's quite a conservative number. So two numbers down already. Let's move on to a third source of passive income. This third source comes from my blog, my website, which is thestuparent.com. So if you haven't seen it before, check it out. Show some love there also. Because in that space, I actually share on financial planning, retirement planning, insurance reviews, just in case you have seen a particular plan from your advisor or the bank, you want more details, my website actually has information on that. So check it out. I actually put a lot of time and effort to actually build information, very good quality information over there. So sharing with you what kind of uh, Google AdSense income we're deriving. Right now it's about $84 plus. That's actually earnings from April's number. May's number as of this time of filming is not completed yet. But for article writing or having income from a website, there's a few things to note also. There's website costs, there's you know uh, hiccups on the website. Right now the value is a bit lower because there are some website crashes. Uh, I'm not a technical person, but these kind of things happen. So previously it was deriving about 120 plus dollars. Right now the number is about 80 plus dollars. Also 
fluctuating a little bit. And right now, uh, I've also devoted more time to the YouTube channel. So that also goes hand in hand with this slightly lower number that I wanted to share with you. But again, if you want to derive passive income and you're good with writing, start with a website. It's very easy. You can derive income from day one. If you build a YouTube channel, you need to have 1,000 subscribers. You need to have 4,000 watch hours before you can start deriving AdSense income. A website, day one, you can actually get started really. In any case, if you want articles, look for our Telegram channel. I actually feed over there some of the newest articles as well as some of the videos we have on our YouTube channel over here. The fourth part coming up, that is obviously our YouTube channel over here, which is what you're viewing. I derive passive income from our YouTube channel. And because you're part of this family, I'm going to show you numbers, updates, because our channel has grown quite considerably larger already. Previously, I think we were about uh, seven, 8,000 subs, and then it was about $1,000 passive income. But let me show you the latest numbers. Very interesting. Right now, we are deriving about $1,500 per month in income. And it has grown. I'm very thankful of it. Thank you for supporting the channel also. Uh, some people have also commented on that previous video I've shared on passive income, that YouTube income is not really passive. And I actually agree, uh, simply because if I stop making videos, uh, that income would decay. It is true. It's not like passive forever, 1005 locked in. It's not. Most passive incomes, unless you are financial assets, actually have a decaying factor. Even a property gets old and has a decaying factor to things. So YouTube income would decay. There's a lot of work ongoingly to maintain it and to create new content also. And on this channel, I've actually hired help to grow this channel to deliver better content. So that cost is actually not factored into this. So this 1005 is good. And again, if you're keen to work with me, work with our team, look for the links below. Uh, I'm actually looking for help also. If you're passionate about investing, finance, and you're willing to you know, work out something together, then definitely look for links. I'll be in touch with you soon. So four points. Let me summarize passive income thus far for 2021, my journey, so that hopefully it inspires you on where you can actually build and to understand it's actually doable. First thing, $2,000 rent income from my HDB. Second thing, $770 for my stocks investments. I have also funds, I have also investments in SRS and stuff, those that I'm not factoring into the passive income. Just the stocks in Singapore only, $770. Website about $80. YouTube about $1,500. All in all, these four key sources are right now deriving $4,350 per month. Not too bad, correct? <laughs> I mean, this is not like a get rich quick kind of thing. It's slowly built with proper financial uh, methods uh, layer by layer. It's like, imagine a wall. You want to derive passive income of three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000. You stack one brick at a time, correct? You don't imagine the number, that wall is so big and you get disheartened. You just start with building website maybe, $80. Start sharing your website with your family, start sharing your website with uh, social media channels. You can actually derive traffic already. Work on it. Then layer by layer, you realize, hey, you can actually build, then you buy stocks, you, you get, or you buy a property if you're not familiar with stocks. Property investing is not impossible also, requires capital. Then layer by layer, you see your passive income growing. So hopefully this number inspires you. But I have also new updates. This number still has factored in a new source, which is actually affiliate income. Right now, I'm actually deriving affiliate income from two key sources. The first is with Saif. Saif is a key partner of mine. I've actually referred a lot of uh, viewers for like yourself to open an account with Saif and they actually have a rewards program also. So affiliate marketing uh, is something that is very doable. And then the second source, also CoinHacko. CoinHacko, this is actually a cryptocurrency exchange. I've actually reviewed their portal before and I've actually showed how I actually bought my own cryptocurrency through that portal. So these two sources, they deliver about 10 to $30 each day. And if you use an average basis, I guess it's about $600 per month in terms of referral income from affiliate marketing. So not too difficult, doable, layer by layer again. Don't, don't, don't get worried if it starts off very small. It's all layer by layer stacked in. And if we add that 600 affiliate income in, you realize that passive income is probably $4,950. Not too bad, correct? Close to $5,000, correct? Of course, there's cost involved that I haven't you know, factored in fully, but idea, idea. You, it's doable, layer by layer. But the main thing that I'd like to share with you, I'm also testing this new idea, which is digital products. I'm looking to sell products online. And the key part is this new project that we have. This is actually a book that I've written out, How to $1 million. And if you're looking you know, to understand in-depth concepts, 
how to improve your own finances how to get a million dollars follow the steps below on how you can actually pre-order this book with a discount and in addition to that i'll be giving a free chapter for this very limited period so again look for the steps below and because this project started off as a financial literacy idea my goal is to really give this book away free if you are from a needy family share me your story i'll give you my email over there i'd like to hear from you do an interview with you to understand your background and if it fits i'll give you this book absolutely free because i've crowdfunded this for my own private channel the funds to print it out i'll be absorbing it because i really want to impact you so again look for steps below i'll sign up from here smash on the like button if you haven't done so already i'll see you in a future video take care and goodbye